Hi, I'm Congressman Scott Perry. At the beginning of each week the Congress is in session, I send out a brief update about the bills the House of Representatives likely will consider. The bills this week are as follows. Senate Bill 252, the Premi Reauthorization Act, which would authorize enhanced research, education, and intervention activities aimed at improving pregnancy outcomes and preventing late-term premature births. Senate Bill 330, the HIV Organ Policy Equity Act, which repeals the current ban on organ donations from HIV-positive donors to HIV-positive recipients and allows research on transplant donations to HIV-positive patients. Senate Bill 893, the Veterans Compensation Cost of Living Adjustment Act of 2013, which directs the Secretary of Veterans Affairs to increase the rates of veterans' disability compensation, additional compensation for dependents, the clothing allowance for certain disabled veterans, and dependency and indemnity com compensation for surviving spouses and children. H.R. 2922, which extends the authority of the Supreme Court police to protect court officials, including justices, away from the Supreme Court grounds. House Resolution 196, which expresses support for the Sixth Amendment to the Constitution, which guarantees the right to counsel to ensure that indigent defendants in all felony cases are adequately represented by counsel. H.R. 2871, which amends the Federal Judicial Code to realign the Southern Judicial District map of Mississippi into four divisions. H.R. 982, the Furthering Asbestos Claims Transparency Act, which aims to eliminate fraudulent claims filed to the Asbestos Trust Fund, protecting the funds for legitimate victims of asbestos exposure. H.R. 2655, the Lawsuit Abuse Reduction Act of 2013, which restores accountability to our legal system by imposing mandatory sanctions on attorneys who file meritless lawsuits. H.R. 3350, the Keep Your Health Plan Act of 2013, which would allow plans available on the individual market today to be offered next year, providing millions of Americans the opportunity to keep their policies in 2014. The bill also would ensure that Americans keeping their plans would not face a penalty under Obamacare. If you have any questions, or if I may be of assistance to you or your family in any way, please contact me at perry.house.gov. That's perry.house.gov. Again, I'm Scott Perry, and I hope you have a fantastic week.